What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in today's video, I wanted to have a look at not necessarily a quick tip, but a new shortcut that was added to the Studio One shortcut options that uh, I know I personally didn't realize until recently. A good friend of mine by the name of Faraz, we were going back and forth talking about some workflow tips for when we're programming hi-hats and triplets and things. And he happened to go into the shortcuts and notice that we have all these new options now. So if we go into our shortcuts and we type in quantize, you can see here now, we now have all these options to change our quantize grid value. Whereas before we used to have set program A through G and possibly we had some more, but I don't think so. Now we can change between these different values here and also straight and triplet. So I've gone ahead and I've assigned these to something that works for me and my workflow. And this is really, really powerful because now I don't have to use my mouse to change anymore. Now, one more shortcut I want to look at before we hop out of here is the split at grid. So you can see event split at grid. Now I've got this programmed out two separate ways. One of them is just something that I remember from Pro Tools, uh, something similar. And the other one is specifically, I've added this secondary shortcut or this alternate shortcut of the same function, I've added it to be command tilde on my Mac so that my fingers are near each other. It's very easy for me to split. I don't have to move my hand that far. Okay, so all fine and dandy, but let's see it in action. All right, so depending on how you like to work, personally, I like to work with the arrow tool on over here and I hold down a set of modifier keys, but now the power here is that I don't have to go like this anymore to choose a quarter note or an eighth note or go to a 16th note triplet and all these things. So let's take our macros off. Let's open up our quantize value for a second. I can now, you know, hop between these very, very easily. Most of the time I like to work in a 16th note, but let's start off with quarters. So for example, I can hold down option command or alt control on a PC and drag across to get all of my MIDI note events or data into this lane over here. Now, I could also hold down another modifier key, uh, which would be command or control on a PC, and I could get this going like this. So now, based on the quantize value, I can run, which in this case happened to be quarter notes, I could split this up into chunks if that's the workflow I wanted to have. So I'm gonna run my keyboard shortcut to split at grid, and now I can think of these in little sections here. So I've got my four on the floor. And essentially now I can just highlight across here and I can choose exactly what I want these to be. I'm just gonna change the 16th notes and split it to grid. Now these ones, I want these to be triplets. So what I've actually done is I've created a macro that will change my grid to triplets, split it to grid, and then change back to straight. And that's based on my current quantize value. We'll have a really quick look at that macro. I'm going to open up this here, macro organizer, change to triplet and split at grid. Pretty simple. Like I said, it's just engaging the triplet, splitting at the grid, and then putting it back to straight. And that's all based on the current quantize value that I have. So we'll go back to the top. Actually, let's do one more of the 16th notes. We'll go ahead and split that at grid. And let's select this one now, and I'm gonna run my macro, which I've mapped out to a key command. Uh, we could do another bar of that if we wanted. And these ones over here, let's switch to eighth notes, and I want these to be triplets. So what I can do over here is I can run that same macro, or I could just change to, let's open this so we can see exactly what's happening. I could change to triplets, and now I could split at grid. Very easy. And why don't we just do a bar of 30 second notes over here. We want those to be straight, split a grid. So I'm not having to use my mouse for any of this anymore. So we can go ahead here. Let's go back to our 16th notes, split a grid. And then let's do another two bars of eighth notes. Let us make these triplets. I use my macro for that. Let's take this. And let's make this uh, 30 second notes over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and split a grid. And then this one over here, let's run our macro, which will give us 30 second note triplets. Now, 
Keep in mind, that particular macro that I'm using, you need to have automatic quantize turned off to use that. But I'm sure that you could work out however it is that you want things to work in your workflow. You could create some macros to make programming easier for you. But essentially, you can see now that you can lay out and program drums really quickly without having to fidget around. So just really incredibly easy now to work in this way you know, for me, this is a big difference and not even just for MIDI, but for audio as well. Just, just being able to scroll through these different grid modes. I find it incredibly useful. Most of the time I stay in the 16th, but every once in a while I like to move into different grid modes and it's really useful for me because I can be doing something on the mouse and I can just make these changes using my keyboard shortcuts. And then of course, split on grid and anything else I need to do. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from that one, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.